Do you believe that President Trump is going to stand by you throughout? I know he's going to stand by me. He called me this afternoon, said he's standing by me. We're still covering the battle over Brett Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court, which most people assumed would not be difficult. It has turned out to be very difficult, and it's exposing fault lines and ideas that some of us are not familiar with. We want to get to the bottom of what they are. Christy Setzer is president of New Heights Communications, and she joins us tonight. So, Christy, Maisie Hirono said something remarkable. We played it twice on this show. No one else seems amazed by it. She's a sitting U.S. senator, of course, from Hawaii, and she said that men... All men are implicated in sexual assault, and women, all women, must be believed because they're women. That seems like an idea that would cut against the Western understanding of justice. I'm not sure that that's exactly what she said. Um, but I do think that there's something particular about crimes of sexual assault and um, accusations of sexual assault. And that is that it's the one crime, at least that I can think of, in which the presumption, um, the burden of proof, is on the woman to say that she really is a victim. So last year I had my car stolen. Um, when I reported it, it was I was not asked, well, what did you do wrong to allow your car to be stolen, well, but hold right? On. Well, and that's, but that's you very were, different but no, but from what happens But you were asked questions like, what, no, did you leave your keys in the car? Mm -hmm. I mean, of course you were. Now, sexual assault is a more delicate issue for obvious reasons. Yes. But do you think that our standards of justice change? In other words, is the burden of proof lower? Yeah. Do you believe in the idea that a person is innocent until proved guilty? We see lawmakers challenging that idea. I, I do, but again, there's something very particular about cases of sexual assault and rape, which is that, um, for one thing, the vast majority of women never come forward, and there's lots of reasons for this. One is basically about how difficult it would get it is to get to trial or to get to a conviction. One another reason is just all the issues around shame, and then. A final reason is um, some of the things that are playing out with Kavanaugh, which is peculiar issues around memory um, when we're talking about traumatic events. So uh, all of yeah. that is true. And of course, there, this is a recovered memory, we now know, um, that came out in psychotherapy. Doesn't mean it's false. Doesn't mean there are a lot of instances where recovered memory was false and innocent people went to prison. It happened quite a bit in the 80s around the satanic abuse ritual scare, as you know. I'm not saying this is like that, but I am saying it means the rest of us have to ask real questions about it. You seem to be suggesting the standards ought to be different, that we should give her the presumption mm -hmm. of honesty. Yeah. And that's not how our justice system works, is it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's important for you and for your viewers to know the context of it, which is that there's no more instances of false accusations around, say, rape and um, and similar crimes as there is for any other crime. And I think that we. But I'm not. I'm not saying. That, other, well, hold on. I'm yeah. not saying. I'm not saying otherwise. I am saying yeah. there is a much higher incidence of false memory in recovered memory cases mm -hmm. than in conventional cases. That's true, and it's been looked at extensively by social scientists. And I, I don't think there's any debate about that doesn't mean this is false sure. but it means that if you want justice if that's your goal then you have to ask hard questions I but again I don't understand yeah. have we changed the standards or haven't we see all these members yeah. of Congress saying he's a man he's guilty she's a woman you must believe for again the, the, no, you no saw one well, said uh, that exactly actually uh, here's Richard yeah. Blumenthal saying the onus is on him to prove he's innocent Right. Is that how our system works? It's, I thought it was the opposite of how it worked. Yeah, again, the reason is because he has said it absolutely didn't happen. Fabrication, right? This isn't a criminal trial, but it is something in which he is asking for a very large promotion to the Supreme Court of the United States, right? So you want somebody who has impeccable character, whose motives absolutely cannot be questioned, and he's given us nothing but doubt throughout these confirmations. But hold on, wait, so, so it's with the principle, leaving Kavanaugh aside, because these are lawmakers. Mm -hmm. They're the most powerful people in our society. They determine what our law are by definition sure. they're saying that the accused has an obligation and a, a, has a responsibility to come forward with evidence to rebut the claims mm -hmm. that is again precisely the opposite of English common law on which our system is based no one has ever said that before that I'm aware of in the history of in my living yeah. history anyway and you're okay with that yeah what, what I think should happen is actually what both dr. Ford and um, and now um, Ramirez believe should happen which is that there should be an FBI investigation but, hold on. Are you, right? but he's saying judge Kavanaugh has a responsibility yes. to come forward with evidence to rebut the charges. Do you or don't you think that's a fair standard? I, I do think that, yes, if we're going to have this conversation about whether or not these things happen and he doesn't want an FBI investigation, which, by the way, he does not, then sure, yes, he's okay, going so to have to Okay, so if I accuse you of something with no physical evidence or eyewitnesses, which is what she has done from 36 years ago, and it's a sex crime yeah. that would destroy your reputation and hurt your family, 
you now have a moral obligation or a responsibility, as Senator from Connecticut says, to rebut that? Is that's what you're saying? You have an obligation, yes, to defend yourself. Now, again, he has decided that he doesn't want an, an FBI investigation. That's what the Republican Party has said, and that they also don't so want. So you want to live Judd, in that the country other, the where the accused person, has a responsibility, and yes. if you can't find evidence to disprove the charge, which has no evidence to support it in the first place, then you are presumed guilty. Is anybody saying that he's going to go to jail? No, they're saying maybe he won't be a Supreme Court justice. You mean he has That's two okay. little girls and a wife and he's being accused of a sex crime by someone who has zero evidence it happened and multiple witnesses who say it didn't. And now we're saying that this guy has to prove that he's innocent? You really want to live in that country, honestly? Sincere question. Yeah, no, sincere, sincere answer, which is that I think that right now there is a very um, disproportionate sense of justice for women who have come forward with these crimes. And I think that right okay. now we tend not to believe them. And I think that all that Senator Hirono and others are saying is that maybe sometimes, we, if we've learned anything from, say, the Me Too movement, it's that these things happen all of the time and we should believe women. Yeah, so do false claims. I was the subject of one of them, so I can tell you a lot about that if you're interested. Maybe later. Christy, thank you. Thank you, Decker. Tammy Bruce is a radio show host and president of Independent Voice. Heather McDonald is a contributing editor at City Journal and the author of The Diversity Delusion, and they both join us now. Heather McDonald, to you first. How should we assess these claims, both in the New Yorker story and from Christine Ford? Well, with our traditional standards of justice, obviously, what we're looking at right now, Tucker, is the arrival of campus culture into the world at large, and it is not a pretty sight. It's a combination of rank ignorance of what an extraordinary accomplishment it was to develop standards of due process. You re referred to medieval uh, trials by, by ordeal and the presumption of guilt. Uh, what we're hearing from students and these, these senators, they have no knowledge of what we have with difficulty and the work of, of centuries moved away from to assure fairness to the accused. And what we're also seeing is the victim ideology that holds that females everywhere are necessarily the victims of male patriarchy and a rape culture. That is false. It is, it is pure ideology. But this type of mass hysteria is the norm on campus, and it has now taken over the world at large. And as you say, we right. are on a very dangerous, slippery slope towards uh, group government oppression <laughs> And, and mass injustice. Tammy Bruce, do you agree with that? Uh, yes, I, what just this interview you just had was, was shocking. Uh, you've got now Brett Kavanaugh effectively uh, being used as a stand-in for all perpetrators. And I think something happened to Ms. Ramirez and Dr. Ford. And they, and they are, are slotting uh, Judge Kavanaugh into the perpetrator framework. And in the name of women and many who have not ever had justice and have never had closure, and, and effectively this is what the Democrats are admitting, and what your guest uh, said effectively was that so many women have not uh, been believed or have been heard, but, and that is unfair, and we've got to fix it, but we're not going to fix it. By, do, by becoming fascists and by blaming every man and presuming every man is guilty, Americans have to ask themselves a very basic question. Is this fair? Is this a fair framework right. for everyone involved? Uh, the Me Too movement at this point has been hijacked. That was a nonpartisan movement that, that women could relate to. This is now being used as a weapon. Uh, clearly, it's been weaponized at this point. Uh, and and um, not only should American men be concerned, but the, but the women who have sons and husbands and boyfriends and brothers and fathers, my, my goodness, you know, this is the opposite of what should be happening if we want real justice for women. Because right now you've got two women, uh, uh, claims obviously uh, difficult and would not stand up in a court of law or in any kind of, of fair discussion. The New Yorker right. piece has been, has been re reviled at this point. Uh, but you've got to see that women then who do make claims are going to be looked at with even more suspicion because due process matters for the woman, uh, the accusers especially, because we have to believe in the outcome. We have to believe in the outcome and trust it. I could do a whole show with both of you. I wish we had more time. Thank you both very much. Thanks, Tucker.